if uh, we can use 30 fours of handbrake grabs. That definitely feels very uh, traditional for me here in a Forza game. Hello everybody, I'm Evil Rabbit. So with Forza releasing their new update and everything, I decided to hop back onto Forza Motorsports because, well, with FD season over, four-time uh, FD champion James Dean winning, we have his car in here now, and we have Drift Mode. So is the Drift Mode in Forza a Band-Aid, or is it breathing new life into the game? We're going to find out here today for myself. We are on my Moza R12 with our full Moza setup. So make sure you guys follow me on all social media. I'll let you follow in the description box below. Let's get into it. So we are just going to go into a free play drift session with this. Um, I'm going to find Ford. I'm going to find the James Dean car right here, right there. And we're going to go full send. We're going to go to Lime Rock. So I do know Lime Rock very well. So that's why I feel like we should just go there. Uh, this is where I used to drift anyways. Was that, you know, the really nasty Lime Rock entry where you flick it one way and then flick it back and try and slow yourself down to get the full main for a sweeper. So that is a fun uh, little section. So we're going to go full send. We're going to see what we can do in James Dean's RTR. We're going to leave it exactly how it sits and we're just going to go into this. Put my mouse down there so it doesn't like, you know, go everywhere. All right, full send. James Dean's RTR. So we're just gonna go full send. So I like the fact that we now have a drift counter and score total, angle, speed, and line. That's pretty awesome. This car's actually handling quite well. Don't drop a tire. Oh, no, no. I really like how his car in the game is actually right hand drive. Man, we are just smoking these tires. I forgot his car has five, six gears, unlike the other RTRs that only have four, because he's got the sequential gearbox. Oh, that's a really dirty Forza handbrake. But overall, I'm thoroughly impressed with how this car is handling as we almost lost it. This is actually quite nice. Now we gotta do the full traditional Lime Rock entry. That was not as, as aggressive as I would have liked it to be. So we're gonna have to try that again on the next lap. But overall, I'm actually very impressed with how this car is handling out of the box. I have not adjusted anything on this car. It's just how we got it in the update. And we are just killing Lime Rock here. That's gear, probably. Ooh, a little bit of aggression on the wheel there. I'm definitely gonna dial my wheel settings in a little bit. I haven't, oh! I'm surprised we held that. I'm surprised we did not lose our points. Um, I have not changed. Oh, that was, uh, that. I have not changed my wheel settings on this game since I played it back, and I haven't been on it in a while. So, may have to go through and adjust some wheel settings. That's more of what I'm looking for for the traditional Lime Rock entry. Down the grass, and link this whole section, and that's a traditional lime rock. Oh, no, don't lose it, don't lose it, grass, grass, grass. That was a really slow way to transition that, but we managed to keep it. We're actually uh, kind of killing this right now. I know what we gotta do. Oh boy. Oh, this is gonna be weird. 
because one thing I really hate is the non 900 degree in the steering wheel. I feel like Forza is not as fun in the in car view as it is on the outside, so let's see if we can do this without. Oh, we in the dirt. We're overshooting that. I'm surprised we did not overshoot that. Ow. A little bit, a little bit steppy in the feedback. We might need to dial our uh, horse feedback down a little bit. I think I looked at my wheel settings prior, and I think we were literally at 200% in the game. And 100 on my wheel pace. <laughs> Which I think when I played this game originally when it came out, I think I was on the, uh, I think I was on my R9. Or I was on the R5. We're on the R12 now, so I need to dial this back a little bit for sake of, uh, not breaking my wrist. So along with the drift update, we did get rival drift competitions, which we kind of tried to do a little bit of earlier which we're gonna go into and go into like the Drift 101, Drift 102, Drift 103, and maybe Open Drift and see if uh, we can use dirty Forza handbrake grabs. That definitely feels very uh, traditional for me here in a Forza game. No, 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 don't lose it. Ooh, definitely gotta adjust the braking for left foot braking. Too much power. So overall, I'm thoroughly impressed with how that works. My best score was a 17.5 or a 17.555 for a Lime Rock. So that's uh, quite interesting. So we're gonna go take a look at the Drift Rivals. Drift 101. I did try and it only got 13 and it looks like my rival is chunky. So we're gonna try this again. Uh, actually, we're just gonna go and try it again. We have to rent a car because I don't have any actual cars. I don't believe. Uh, let's just go with an E46. We're gonna rent the E46 out. I don't have any of these cars tuned for anything, so this is trying to do this in a basic car, which is probably not the best option. So we're gonna come back and do the other drift rivals, drift 102. I think there's drift 103, and then there's the open class drifting in another episode. But Grand Oaks Raceway Club Circuit. E46, we got my rival, who is uh, the US Chunky. Yep, and he did 30,000 in a 92 Sylvia. All right, well, we're trying to do it in E46. So let's see if my shift, with it being an H pattern, or car set up for H pattern, I wonder if it's gonna put me into neutral right away. Oh no, it didn't. We get one hot lap. We just gotta go full send into the first first corner. Oh, keep it, keep it. Don't lose it. Surprised we kept that. Oh yeah, we definitely gotta lower the force feedback. But good news is, it does feel quite. It does feel a lot better than it used to. I feel. Unfortunate. Oh, yeah, we got to lower the feedback. I don't know how he's just smoking that S13. He's got to have some sort of tune on that car. We're kind of getting it. Got a clutch kick entry there. I don't think we're gonna get anywhere near his 30k though. Oh, he's doing, oh yeah, that car's got a cage and everything. He has that set up. So that's why we need to actually rent one of these cars and see if we can actually uh, beat him. We're gonna try another flying lap here. I'm gonna try and do some manjis though.
Ryan, but I don't don't think either of these cars got enough power. We're gonna have to modify one of these. We're actually gonna have to get one of those cars and drive it so we can actually up the level, get some drift components for it. But this isn't a stocky 46. We're not doing too bad. Kind of just gotta rev bang that crap out of it though. Oh, and then we do that. Ugh. Turn on track limits in your HUD to help see the track edge. No, I don't want to do that. I don't need HUDs. A lot of clutch kicks. I mean, we beat. We're gonna beat our last lap score at least. Oh yeah, that wheel needs to be adjusted. No, we're not gonna beat our last lap score. Not like. <laughs> so I think that'll do it here for this episode. Here on Forza Motorsports, we're gonna bring you back and start doing more of this. Make sure you guys follow me on all social media. All the in the description box below. Ah, beautiful rabbit. I'll see you guys on the track.